SAG sign is one of the best. Literally takes two people in my opinion. But the SAG sign, she's helping me a lot, so I need her to relax. You literally just let gravity drag everything down. And she's relaxed enough now, but her leg's still not heavy enough, so try to relax for me. And you keep bouncing and wiggling and all of that stuff. I do this with shoulders all the time, just generally oscillate them until you get them to relax and then start some of your mobilizations because they hurt and the people are going to tighten up on you. To do a SAG approximation, then I want to get down and visualize, and it should be a continuous line from the inferior pole of the patella to the tibial tubular pole on down to the tibia. The problem is, usually when I move here, the patient's afraid I'm going to drop their leg, so they start holding it up again. And remember what we did once we spotted a sag, what do we do next? Compare the other leg. Well, that's good. But uh, remember the quad active test? And also for PCL. So that's the confirming diagnosis. So from that position, I see that she is sagged. I had a good slide on that this morning. You have the patient activate the quads, and it should go to neutral. That's just the quads, and that's that's all you do is just have her straighten her knee out a little bit. And all you're doing is watching to see if the thing comes back up. 